So welcome back guys, my name is Amlan and in today's make notch free campaign, we try and solve a certain Samsung issue. Many Samsung users have complained that after using the phone uh, for a couple of months or something, the phone tends to turn off automatically. Now this can be pretty frustrating, you're using the phone and the phone switches off. Now if this is the case that you are facing, let's look at a few troubleshooting solutions that you can do. With the phone turned off, in the turned off state what I want you to do is, take out the SIM tray. Now. With the SIM tray out of the phone, try powering on the device. So I press the power button and I wait for the Samsung logo to show up. Once it shows up, I simply wait until the phone restarts. Hopefully the phone doesn't enter into a boot loop mode. That is, goes off, turns on, goes off, turns on. That doesn't happen. Hopefully with the SIM tray out, you can see the SIM tray is out from the device the phone reboots normally. So we'll just wait for the phone to reboot and things should be just fine. I'll just give you a insight into what we, are, we shall be attempting to do. After the phone reboots, we want to check up for any updates if it's there. If there is Android update, go ahead and do that update. So the phone has restarted. Now I will unlock. I will check for update and after I do the update, if there is, I will put the SIM tray back on. If the phone is already updated, then you can skip the step and directly put the SIM tray back in. Now I swipe from the top, tap on the settings, scroll down until I reach the software update and I can see there's an update. So at this point of time, I will do this update and then resume putting in the SIM tray. So once the update has been done, what I can then do is I will put this SIM tray back into the device. Hopefully your phone should be working perfectly fine now. Now a small thing that I want you guys to note here is that this problem just doesn't happen like that. It's quite possible that you may have installed an app in the recent few days because of which you might have seen this happening. If that's the case, if there's an app that's been downloaded in the last few days, just try checking if you really need the app because it's quite possible that the app may have some conflict issues with the operating system of Android. So try uninstalling that app and maybe things will start working perfectly fine. Now, if uninstalling the app, if taking out the SIM tray, all of this, etc. doesn't work, let's look at step number two. Now with the phone, which has been turned off, what you can do is simply tap the phone on the back. You can see that the phone is not in a good shape. This is a almost three year old phone now. Firm taps in the back, firm taps in the front. So this is uh, not something funny. It's basically why we do this tapping and this massaging is so that any parts, if it has gone loose, will kind of fall back in the place. Uh, like, you know, what happens is many of the phone parts are centered around like, you know, the bottom and at this point, even at the back at this point. So somehow it's found that some of them, like if they've, kind of come out of place, the phone tends to have booting issues that is starting up issues. So it tends to turn off, turn back on this and that. So like when you like kind of press the massage, uh, sorry, press the phone firmly and tap the phone and then start the phone, it works. So at this point of time, you can press the power button or what I also suggest is the famous method of power and volume down button both together until you see the Samsung logo. And once you see the Samsung logo, just wait for phone to start normally. So we'll just place the phone here and we'll wait for the phone to resume. Here you can see that the phone has started. Now the basic problem was that the phone tends to turn off and we hope that now the phone will not turn off. But then again, we are assuming that it's a software issue. If the phone has a battery that has gone bust, then basically what happens is like you will see the battery levels also stooping uh, shockingly low in a few minutes. At that point, what I suggest is going to the store and having your battery replaced. Well, step one and step two, if they don't work, we'll now look at step three that can be done. Step three again involves tapping the phone like in the front and in the back, firm taps. Again, the same massage that you do inside out from bottom to top and at the back. Like again, this is just so that any pass if they have gone loose will fall back in place. And then the power button and the volume up button both together and hold it like that until you see the Samsung logo and then wait for the phone to boot up normally. We'll just place it until the phone starts up. And there you go, the phone has started. 
hopefully by now your phone doesn't go back to its old ways where it turns off automatically but if it still does let's look at one more thing that you can do now this method is referred to as spamming the power button now basically when you hit the power button you will see that the phone the logo comes up but in cases where the phone tends to turn off the phone again goes back off so again you press the power button so that it starts again it goes off again you press the power button again it goes off again you do this so you do this constantly until the phone finally comes to life so this is called spamming the power button until the phone tends to start so somehow the lucky number is 10 many people have reported that after doing it say for 10 times it starts working so hopefully like doing this methods your phone will come back to life and it will not go back it will not turn off there is one more method which may sound a bit odd but actually it works so just take this phone and like you know you put it in the deep freeze section of your refrigerator and not for a lot of time just for maybe say for 30 odd minutes and then like basically tapping the phone hard giving it a massage and holding the power and the volume down button until you see the logo and then the phone reboots now all of this will only work if there is a software issue and if it's not a hardware issue if there is a battery that's gone bust like i said you will see that the phone will show very alarming levels of battery and then it will turn off you need to then take it to the store well i hope that this tutorial helps there's a lot of success with people trying the sim sim tray out looking in for updates updating the phone and then taking the sim tray back in that really helps also the power and the volume uh, down and up methods after doing a firm tapping and massaging also really works well because if there are some parts that have come loose of the phone then it's quite possible that those parts are responsible for the phone turning off again i also repeat this that if you have downloaded a few apps which are resulting in this behavior i mean uh, you have downloaded a few apps after which you have seen all of this happening go ahead and uninstall those apps and then check whether the phone has this behavior so do all of this and let me know in the comment section that's whether some of this helped in bringing your phone back to life and not turning off again share this with your friends and family if you find this tutorial helpful do subscribe and put in your lovely comments until next time it's me amlan signing off